And coach, from a from a rhythm standpoint, you talked a little bit earlier. Just one practice after the break. Did the game flow the way that you that you thought that it might after the break? Yeah, I mean, it was sloppy in in, in stretches. You know, you could tell we were um, not as sharp as we'd like to be. But that's you know that that I'm not faulting the players for that. You know, they needed their break. Um, you know, they this was an easy game to lose. You know, he played a very good team that won four in a row, uh, that as healthy as they've been. And, um, you know, we weathered a couple storms out there. Um, first quarter wasn't great. Uh, they had a 9-0 run to start the second half. And after that, we played great basketball overall. So proud of the guys. But uh, some rust and, you know, their concentration levels and their effort were, were excellent to get the game uh, in hand. Expounding on that, we know it's a luxury to have closers like Kyrie Irving and a James Harden. What were some other things that you noticed in that fourth quarter during those during the crucial minutes of the game that you were proud of? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I mean, obviously Kyrie was was sensational. James managed the game as he does, um, but everyone made big shots. You know, there was moments uh, in both halves where Landry made big threes when we were struggling. Uh, Jeff Green made a big three. Tyler made a big three. Nick Claxton's fourth quarter minutes were better, I thought. Um, so there was that, but it was also, I just thought, uh, you know, getting stops when we needed it. You know, didn't turn the ball over in the second half like we did in the first and got stops when we needed it. So, um, and that's the way it's got to be. You've got to take care of the basketball and we got to find a way to go on defensive runs.